As usual, we're going to start off this week's menu with our weekly bake. It's a lovely sourdough, house sourdough, uh, with a little bit of black treacle going through there. That's going to go in the oven, in the paper, for about eight to ten minutes or until it's nice and hot. And then here, at the same time, you want to get your butter out. So this is just a whipped, salted butter. There you go, all piped lovely. Let's just get a little bit of extra mould and salt. It's already got some on there, but I just like a nice little crunch. Let's get some of that on the top, and then very, very carefully onto your plate. Let that soften up. Have your dish ready, a little bit of barley or a little bit of something just to sit your bread on. This is going in the oven now, and we'll be back in about 10 minutes to slice away. So just undoing my sourdough. That treacle hits you as you unwrap it. Oh, delicious. And then I've got my uh, butter all softened, I've got my dish ready to go. Serrated knife, really, really important. Hand on the top, and then slice away. Put a little cloth between your hand and the bread if it's a little too warm for you. But this way, nice and safe. And you can see those lines going through the bread. There we go, you see that? Just look at that lovely crumb. You've got all that little dark patches where we've got the treacle going through it. Let's just get that all in our dish and we are ready to start off our menu. Hope you enjoy. So I'm going to get preparing my smoked salmon starter now. I'm going to take you through all of the things to present up this lovely, uh, lovely starter. What we've got, we've got our stout bread. That needs to go in the oven, in the oven first of all. It's wrapped in the UV Chef paper. Keep it in that paper, it's going to prevent it drying out. Let's get that in the oven now. Seven to eight minutes, that's all it needs, or just till it's hot in the centre. Right, put my little pickles to the side, lemon in lace we've got there. We've got a nice little bit of uh, picked parsley ready for you, and then you've got your smoked salmon pate. Very important that the smoked salmon and the pate are up to room temperature. That makes them where you can taste everything that's going on there. If it's too cold, you just can't taste it. So let's cut the little pouch and we'll pull out the smoked salmon there. All of these, remember, if it's eco pouches, all the dishes are all compostable. So turn the smoked salmon over onto your hand and then peel off the bottom layer of paper and just kind of just ease that like that off carefully and then we're going to turn it over and put it onto the middle of your plate like so and then just inch up the salmon give it a little help in hand and then you'll find that it will just peel off just like so and you get left with a lovely little round of smoked salmon on there. Beautiful. I'll say now, a little bit of rapeseed oil, just on the top. Take the back of a spoon and just work that oil in. Now give it all a lovely shine. And as I say, my smoked salmon's all up to room temperature now. There we go. Right, next up, let's get our little smoked salmon pate. So again, you can see all nice and easy. It's all on paper, ready to go. Same principle again, let's just sit that on the top. So, pate smoked salmon. Next up, let's take some of our little garnishes here. We've got caper berries, and I'm just gonna start arranging some of those on the top, just on the side. Try and get a little bit of height. Little shallot rings. It's all those like really classic garnishes that you wanna have with the salmon. So a few nicely arranged, more capers. Then we've got some actual capers in there which we've just blanched just to take out some of that saltiness. A few more on there. And then we'll be ready to go with our little bit of parsley. So there we go. Remember there's plenty of garnish in here. You don't need to use it all. Maybe one more caper. There we go, I'm happy with that. Then we're gonna take a little bit of our parsley. And then just, see I'll just put some nice little pieces of that all the way around. This is all picked for you, all washed, ready to go. And then in a second, we're just gonna put a tiny bit more rape soil just on the top. 
Just spend a little bit of time doing that. There you go. Right, save those for my next one. Meanwhile, a little bit of rapeseed, as I said. Just those lovely little dots of that bright yellow oil. And your lemon in lace. Let's put that just on the side. And then we'll be back shortly once my uh, stout bread is all heated up just to garnish up this on the side. So here's our stout bread. Just unwrap that. Look at that. Oh, it smells delicious. Lovely with a few little oats just on the top of there. Again, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil just to give it a lovely shine. A little bit of molten salt. Let's serve that just on there like that. There we go. How about it? That's our UB Chef smoked salmon starter, lemon and lace, stout bread to serve with it. Right, now we're gonna get cooking our roast chicken with the little uh, fricassee and a chicken dripping potato. So most important thing, first of all, remember this is a raw chicken in here, so make sure you wash your hands after hand handling it. We've got my tray here. This has all been lined with our UB Chef paper. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil just in the bottom of there, just to make sure double, but it's not gonna stick. And then take your chicken, just take a knife or a pair of scissors. I'm just gonna slice that open. Remember to wash your knife after this as well, where it's the raw chicken. Take your chicken out, put that onto there. I'm just gonna get rid of that bag and sit your chicken. You can see that it's all stuffed with some nice herbs and it's got the truffle under the skin. So I'm just gonna give the hands a little rinse here. There we go. Right, now, chicken needs to go in the oven, and I'm saying about 40 to 50 minutes, but use a temperature probe uh, just to make sure that you reach a core, te core temperature sorry, of 70 degrees or over, really, really important. So, let's get that in the oven now. Oven set to 190, we're gonna roast that for about 40 to 50 minutes. When we come back, our garnishes, We've got a chicken dripping potato here. Look at that lovely bits of thyme and sea salt on the top of there. That's going in for about 10 minutes or until it's hot in the center. And your fricassee, just get that onto the stove, heat it gently, give it a stir. It only needs about one to two minutes once it's come up to the simmer, just stirring it over to make sure all the vegetables are nice and softened in there. We've got a wild garlic oil, we've got a little uh, crispy granola here, of chicken skin, uh, it's got some thyme in there, a touch of wild rice. Uh, that's just going to be warmed in the oven for about one to two minutes and then we'll be back and I'll show you how to take the chicken off the bone and present this wonderful main course. So here's my chicken, it's been out about five to 10 minutes from the oven now, really, really important to rest that chicken before you serve it. Let's take it out on there. And then you see this, all those lovely little juices that are just inside there. I'm just gonna get them, pour them into my fricassee, extra flavor right there, top tip. Give that a little stir in. Let's turn the heat off on that now. That will just sit there nicely. My potato is in the oven and I've got my little uh, chicken skin granola all coming out the oven shortly. So, sharp knife. Then you can see the breastbone just down, going down to the center. So cut either side of that. And this is important where you've rested it as well. Just take some of the temperature out. So I'm gonna cut right the way down there and then go to the side. Nice long sweeping cut marks like so. Turn it around and then you can come up down the other side. And there you go on breast and do the same again. Slightly more difficult this time, but I just hold on to that rib cage just there. And then slice again, right the way down. Turn the chicken around and come all the way down like so. And then this, I'm just gonna keep that. Uh, that's gonna go into my tray and that will be all ready. We can put that in the chicken stock, uh, give it to the cat, whatever you like to do. Right then, Let's tidy the breast up a little bit. Let's trim it. Just make it nice and neat. And again, these are wonderful cat or dog trimmings. There we go, that's our first breast. Let's put that on the tray so that's all ready there. Go back to this one. This is where you're just, just taking off any of those uneven little edges. Like so, let's sit that on there out of the way. Let's get a little I'll get our tray back, nice clean down of a board. I'm getting all those little bits of chicken off so we're ready to slice the chicken. There we go. Right, let's get my plates under the grill. There we go, the fricassee is all ready to go there. Yeah, here we go. 
So here comes my little dripping potatoes there. That's my chicken skin granola. And then your wild garlic oil, just cut off. I'm just gonna leave that there, ready to garnish onto the plate. Our plates. There we go. Right, let's get our potatoes. Put those on, like so. If you like, you can add a little bit of extra mold and salt, not too much, just put a little crumble. Then we'll get our fricassee. Now you've got more sauce than what you need here. So what I suggest is just put a nice spoon of, uh, of the garnish onto the plate. And then you can always put some of the sauce in a little container to serve at the table. So good helping of that. That's all of our spring vegetables in there, pea shoots, gem lettuce, really, really nice. And of course, a little bit of sauce. Spread that out, a bit more sauce on that one. There we go. Then let's get our chicken back again. Up to you, you can leave it whole. I'm just gonna carve down just on the top. I'm gonna put it through just three times and then this gives you the opportunity to see that lovely little bit of truffle. So you can just see that there where you've got the truffle under the skin. Let's sit that. How about this for a roast chicken? Next one, again watch your fingers. Nice slice down. Same again. On the top, just, just press it down just so it sits in place. And then get a spoon. A little bit of our granola, this has got chicken skin, it's got the wild rice. Just a tiny little bit on the top of both. Let it scatter around. And then finally, here we go, let's finish off. A little bit of a tidy up there. Get some of your oil. Be quite kind of sparing here. There we go. Nice wild garlic oil. Quick clean up of your plates. And away you go. That is our roast chicken for two. Lovely little spring fricassee on there. Chicken dripping potatoes. Hope you enjoy it. So here is our tart citron via UV Chef. What you'll have is this lovely lemon tart. Look at that, all baked for you. Be very, very careful when you're getting it out. Try and keep it nice and flat, there it is. So of course we say this is for two people, but look at that, it's quite nice and big. Of course it will probably feed four, but we say two so you can come back and you can have a second help in the next day. Now, what you want, you want a nice sharp knife. I'm just gonna put that sharp knife just into, into some uh, hot water. Just dip it in there, give it a little shake, and then I'm just gonna very carefully cut this straight through the center. Just give it a little helping hand at the edge, and then through we go. Nice cut. Make sure you go right the way through, and each time we're just gonna clean the knife. And look at that. Lovely, super crispy pastry, really, really nice. Get rid of those little bits of pastry. You don't want anything just uh, destroying a nice cut. Again, a little bit of a dip in the hot water. Have a little cloth, wipe the knife. And again, we'll turn that around. Then I'm gonna take a nice slice. And again, be really, really precise here. There we go. Use a knife, put it onto your cooling rack ideally, or a metal tray because you're gonna grill this, either grill or blowtorch. That can go back in the fridge, no problem at all. And then what we're gonna do here, see I've got one of these blowtorches, they're quite easy to find, um, your local like, hardware store. So I'm gonna light that up, get that heating up, but equally you can use a grill, completely up to you. Then the icing sugar that we sent you with is already sifted, put it into your sieve at home, or you can shake it on by hand, but it's far, far uh, better if you have a little dredger or a little sieve. Now you see how I'm gonna dust it on the top. Don't be shy here as well, go really nice layer. Same on this piece. And what I'd suggest, if you're doing like multiple, if, you, if you've ordered a, a couple of these, 
work on like two slices at once because you don't want the icing sugar to dissolve. So let's put them nicely apart. Then we'll take our blowtorch, turn up the heat a little bit now. And we're just gonna kind of glaze in sections. So move the blow lamp along. If it gets too hot, turn it down. But you kind of wanna glaze it nice and evenly. Like so, go around the pastry. You can always come back to a section and we'll just go nice and even. See how that all starts to glaze up. Really, really nice. And then bring that just around. There we go. Pull the blowtorch off. Same as if you do this under the grill, just do it in stages. And then you get that lovely crisp coating just on the top. Let's start on this one. Again, nice and even. And I suggest once you've done this, you want to serve it fairly quickly because then you get that lovely little, just a warm top on the tart, crunchy ice and sugar, which is absolutely beautiful. See, put the flame on, lift it off until you can't see any of that white ice and sugar anymore. Go a little bit more on that piece, and we are all good. Okay, watch out for the hot blow torch, of course. I've got my plate there. I'm gonna take use a fish slice, let's put a wonderful slice of lemon tart just there, like so. Then I've got some creme fraiche, this is just plain creme fraiche. Got my hot water behind me, take a spoon. Dip it in, and then tap off the water, and then you've just got your creme fraiche just there. See, I'll just work that around with a spoon, and then let it sit onto the plate. And then we're gonna go a little bit of our crisps just here. So we've got some lemon, we've got a little orange there. Look at that lovely little delicate slice of lime as well just bounce that on the side finally some comfy this is just a mixed zest I'm just going to put a little bit on the top just on the plate this just adds a beautiful little chewiness to the plate and there we go so we've sent you enough comfy enough little crisps and of course that leftover lemon tart for the next day treat, there you have it. Tartu Citron via UB Chef.